Hi guys. Today we are doing possessive nouns. Hashtag that's mine. So what does possessive mean? This means that someone or something owns something. I call this the toddler syndrome. I see it, it's mine. If I want it, it's mine. If it's yours, it's mine. Or you can think of the seagulls from Finding Nemo, the mine, mine, mine. But possessive isn't only mine. I just use that to remember what possessive means. The rule is easy. If the word ends in an S, then add an apostrophe. If it ends in any of the other 25 letters of the alphabet, add an apostrophe and then an S. See, easy peasy. The only other words you might need to know are my, mine, our, ours, his, hers, theirs, and its. Now this is super, super important. A lot of my students have trouble with this one. Even though it is possessive, its does not have an apostrophe like other possessive words. So if you use IT apostrophe S, that means it is. So try not to confuse those. So what is joint possession? Well, that's when more than one person or thing owns something. If two or more people or things own the same thing, then you only indicate it on the last one. So Ed and Judy's car is parked outside. We have one car, it is singular, and we have Ed and Judy that own the car. So we only use the apostrophe S after Judy because both of them own the same car. If two or more people or things own different things, then you indicate it on both. Ed's and Judy's cars are outside. If you'll notice this one, car is plural, making it cars. That means there is more than one. So Ed owns a car and Judy owns a car. This is kind of a cheat. So if you are looking and what these people are owning is plural, chances are that it is owned separately and you would possess both of the nouns. <clears throat> so we have an internet search resource here. There are a couple of sites that came up that were really good. And so I thought you might like some of the information off of them instead of just watching my videos. But what I really want you to focus on is right here. You have an example where the apostrophe comes after the S without an extra S. And then at number four, it gives you examples on how to indicate individual possession and joint possession. Then we have this one, um, and I thought this was a better source, and it is from Get It Right Online, W-R-I-T-E, and they give you examples and then explain each of the examples. So if you look at the last two, when I went to my husband's family reunion, I finally met Joe's and Martha's parents. Joe and Martha are not siblings and thus do not own the same set of parents. We know that because Joe is possessive and Martha is possessive. And if you look down at the bottom one, same sentence, but Tim and Sally's parents, since Tim is not possessive and Sally's is, then that means they own the same set of parents. So if you need to use the internet or me as a resource, you are more than welcome to do so. If you get stuck on a question, use the internet to help you or shoot me an email. But when you are online, make sure that you're specific in your searches, like how to make a plural possessive. You can even type in like, how do you make boss plural possessive? And it should give you the answer.
or lead you to a site that can. So you can do it. Good luck.